Three P Sports. I'm Dustin and I'm Rob. And today we're gonna be continuing our NFL picks of Week One, uh, starting off with New England at Tennessee. Who are you picking? Uh, I take New England hands down. Um, Tennessee starting Jake Locker for his first official start yeah. uh, in the NFL, and I just don't I, I don't see him. You know, he has a few weapons like uh, Nate Washington, Kenny Britt, and uh, mm. Damian Williams at receiver. Yeah. Uh, of course, Chris Johnson. You know, hands down, you know, is, is a great running back. Uh-huh. But I don't see them uh, going o- over that. That the Patriots defense is a little. Uh, you know, could be soft at times, but uh, especially last year. Oh, yeah. But uh, I think they, they pick it up this year, and uh, of course, no one's going to beat you know Tom Brady. I mean, yeah, Jake Locker's not going to you know overdo Tom Brady in no, this game. No. So I, I totally see New England just completely taking it by a minimum of ten points, maybe more. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be it's going to be a high scoring game on New England side. Tennessee, not not so much. Yeah. Um, when you look, when you compare the two quarterbacks, you have Jake Locker, a second year guy, going up against one of the all time greats in Tom Brady. Yeah. I mean, the guy has been to four Super Bowl, five Super Bowls. He's yeah. been to five Super Bowls in what in a nine year, a ten year span. Yeah. So that that's all I really need to say. <laughs> I mean, uh, New England just has way too many often uh, offensive weapons for Tennessee to keep up with on their offense. They do have their receivers there. I like their potential for the future, but this is not their year, yeah. and uh, New England takes this big. Yeah. Moving on, uh, we got Seattle at Arizona. Dustin, what do you think about that? I've got Seattle. Uh, I think the, these teams, they're both kind of right in the middle of the AFC West. I don't think he, neither of them are going to win it when you have San Francisco in that division yeah. and play with how good they are, but I like, I like their re- rookie quarterback, Russell Wilson. Yeah. He showed a lot of promise in training camp and preseason. He came out and he showed that he's better than the guy that they paid millions to come over from Green Bay and Matt Flynn. And when you look at their running back, Marshawn Lynch, that dude's just a monster. Yeah. So they, they have some young receivers, some talent there with guys like Doug Baldwin. They also have Braylon Edwards, yeah, who, who we got some veterans in the, in the receiving core as well. And that defense is very underrated with Earl Thomas and that secondary. They had one of the top defenses last year very quietly. Yeah. And uh, I, I think they're going to take care of business on the road. Arizona, they, they're, uh, they're probably going to finish last. Or they're going to finish second to last, better than the Rams in that division. But I, I see Seattle taking this. That offense is just is going to take out that Arizona defense. What do you think? Yeah, I, I totally agree on everything. Russell Wilson is a beast right now, at least from what we've seen so far. I don't know how to do, you know, at, as a starter, there is a lot more pressure as a full-on starter week yeah. one. But uh, he's definitely better than John Skelton. Mm-hmm. Uh, the team overall of the Seahawks is better than the team of just, the Cardinals. Yeah, overall. So, yeah, that, that game is just, you know, it's going, going to be Seattle. They are the away team, but they are going to – outperform yeah, the Cardinals. They're just the better team. Yeah. All right. Well, that about sums up this episode. Once again, I'm Dustin. I'm Rob. And as always, click the football to subscribe right here to watch our previous episode and right here to watch the one before that. All right. See you guys. See you.